here. So I was just about to throw dinner together and I thought why not go live for you guys and show you guys what I'm making. So I've been in um, a huge taco mood lately and so I bought all the stuff to make homemade guac and we are going to try having tacos with venison hamburger tonight. Well, I should say I'm going to. Alan's at work. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my guacamole at home, um, what's all in it, and kind of just walk you through what I'm doing. So already in my awesome Pampered Chef um, chopper, I have my red onion. It's not very much. And the reason I like this chopper so much is it cuts it up really, really good. So I don't know if you guys can see. But that's how I, ooh, that's how I like mine chopped because I like the taste of the red onion, but I don't like to have it overpower everything. So I'm going to put that in my bowl and get as much of it out. I hate wasting ingredients like this because you don't use them very often. And then I'm going to cut my lime in half. And squeeze the juice of both half, halves of my lime in our bowl. Um, I use lime juice to keep it guacam the color longer, and I like the hint of lime as well. If you guys are on, say hi. My hands are going to be dirty, so I won't be able to click on anything. So I squeezed out both of those limes. And now we're going to cut open our avocados. So I got this cool avocado peeler from our wedding. So what I do is it's sharp enough when the avocados are ripe to cut right down to the pit. So there's that. So my avocado is like perfect right now, which is awesome. And then it has like a slit on the top, so it gets right down to the rind of the avocado. And I'm just going to throw that in there. I'm going to scoop it all out on both sides. Um, and then it fits under the pit as well, so you don't waste as much. And scoop out both sides into whatever bowl. I like to use glass or the stainless steel because it stays its color longer, I feel like, in the fridge. So, I'm going to use two avocados because I'm going to use it for lunch and a snack tomorrow as well. So, I'm going to cut this one in half. I'm hoping this one is just as good. This one has a little bit of a dent in it. Um, I got all of these ingredients I'm going to show you guys today from Aldi. Um, so it doesn't cost a lot. Ooh, this one's kind of bad. Hold on, guys. I'm going to see if I can salvage this. Nope. So what a bad avocado looks like is it'll be brown inside. So I guess I'm only using one. I'm going to wash my hands quick. So in our bowl so far, we have a lime, an avocado, and some red onion. And I have, this is um, chipotle lime salsa from Aldi as well. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. And then, oops. I use a fork to mash it all together. Um, if your avocados are ripe, um, it's going to be a lot easier to mix it all together. And I typically keep my guacamole for um, two days when I make it. So depending on how much I want to eat or how big the avocados are will determine um, how much stuff I use. So, I'll flip the camera around. Finished product for our guacamole. If you guys can see it. So you can see the red onion, you can see the 
um, avocado, you can see that the salsa was a deeper red salsa, so it's going to make it a little bit darker of a color. But I'm going to throw this in the fridge quick and do how I'm going to make the rest of our meal. So we have ground venison thawing in the sink, so I'm going to throw that into a warm frying pan on the stove. And then it's still a little bit frozen, so give me one second here. And then since it's still slightly frozen, I am going to just cover it to help it thaw better. But I chop up all of my um, ground beef or ground venison, whatever it is, ground. I use this thing because it gets it all really, really small and nice and cut together. Um, and then we are going to use this low sodium taco seasoning. It's definitely not a clean one out there. There are way better ones out there. You can make your own. Um, it's just kind of what I had available tonight since I wasn't planning on making this, but it sounded really good. Um, always do low sodium if you're going to get regular packets like this. Um, this is the Aldi brand. It's not fabulous, um, but like I said, if you're in a pinch or this is the only type of thing your kids or significant others will eat, then it's fine in moderation. You're not eating it every day. You're not eating it consistently, but I would highly suggest making your own if you can. I just need to bite the bullet one of these weekends when we're not crazy busy and just make a batch of our own um, and have that here for us. So. That's what my dinner is going to be. It's going to be ground venison, taco meat with some hint of lime chips, Mexican cheese, and ground turkey or ground venison. So I hope that you guys found that helpful. I hope you guys um, are enjoying this group. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I will check in with you guys later. Have a great day.